Now, Storm Team 4 with Central Ohio's most accurate forecast. And Liz McGiffin joins us now. We talked about this uh, at noon. Mm -hmm. This is the first now major hurricane that we have seen uh, upon us, and it could get stronger as it moves out. Yeah, that's kind of the scary part is we're not done with it yet. We are done with the worst for some of those areas like the Turks and Caicos, but like you were seeing from that video, they've been dealing with some strong damaging wind gusts, and this system, it has only intensified as it's been moving its way over water, and we can tell just from looking at the satellite, you notice this spin. There's a very clear eye, so that gives us the heads up that there's a lot of strong wind circulating around this system. In fact, like we were talking about, it's still a major category three hurricane. And I want to show you that latest path again as we head toward Wednesday into Thursday. There's going to be very little to stop its progress from just growing. It's going to intensify to upwards of category four strength as it pushes its way toward Bermuda. So especially as we wrap up the weekend, head toward the weekend, that's going to be an area that will have to watch this system extremely closely for the heavy rain and of course that high surf to say the least. Notice it finally starts to make landfall by the weekend in parts of Canada, still expected to be at hurricane to tropical storm strength. So this is going to be a system that hangs around for a while. Meantime, though, here in central Ohio, we've been watching a different system. As this warm front's been lifting its way up across the area, you've probably noticed the increase in the temperature, or if nothing else, when you've stepped outside, been able to feel the influence of our high pressure system by clearing out the clouds. One o Nation Tower camera still showing plenty of sunshine. And if you have outdoor plans this evening, I'd say keep them in full swing. It will still be a touch on the warm side as we work our way back down toward the 80 degree mark by 6 o'clock. By 8 p.m., mostly clear sky. It's been dropping us right back down to the mid 70s, which, believe it or not, is a lot closer to normal high temperatures for this time of the year. Now, because of the warm front, we are going to be kicking in more of a southerly breeze tonight into tomorrow. And on top of that, kicking up more moisture with it. So we will be priming our atmosphere for not only the risk for thunderstorms by tomorrow evening, but some of those could be strong to severe. The main thing that I'm going to be concerned with with these would be the potential for damaging wind gusts. But of course, since we'll have such a warm and unstable environment, we'll be keeping an eye out for the potential for rotation that could lead to a tornado, even the threat for some hail and heavy pockets of rain going to be associated with these. So I want to time these out for you. We have high pressure that's going to be continuing to move its way out of here and making its room for the next system by first thing tomorrow morning. Now ahead of this cold front, we're going to kick in more of the southerly breeze, giving us that warm and moist air. Notice how things change by six o'clock in the evening. It will be the tail end of that evening drive and even for the first part of the overnight hours. So six to ten o'clock that we'll be seeing a very active picture out on the radar. And like we were talking about, some of those thunderstorms could become strong to severe with damaging wind gusts at times. It's probably even more reason to get prepared tonight or just enjoy these nice, calm conditions. We'll be working our way back down to the mid 60s later on tonight. And as a whole, those mid 60s still nearly 10 degrees above the norm. Now, as we head throughout the day tomorrow, it's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy, very late August like as we head throughout the day. I think the thing that'll keep us from actually hitting the 90 degree mark, though, will be that threat for thunderstorms that moves in later on into the evening. Notice behind the system, we almost change seasons. We'll be going from a summer like feel on Wednesday to a much more fall like chill to the air for Thursday and Friday. Fall like conditions going to hang around throughout the weekend as well. All right.